10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Go silent to the Falcon Space Force Ignardo launch. Vehicle pitching down range. We are T plus 45 oh, seconds nominal. into liftoff, and we have just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Starlink payload. In just about 15 seconds from now, we will be passing through max Q. This is the largest aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see throughout ascent. And we've got an awesome view of liftoff right now. Vehicle is passing through maximum dynamic pressure. And we just heard that call out for passing through max Q. Now coming up in about a minute will be a rapid succession of events, main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO, followed immediately by stage separation and SES-1, which is second engine start. Now MECO is where we shut down that main engine on the first stage booster to allow the vehicle to slow down just enough to separate from second chill. stage. If you're just now joining us, we have an awesome onboard view of our vehicle Falcon 9. And in about 30 seconds will be those three events, Miko, main engine cutoff, stage separation, and SES-1. And there is Miko, as you saw those engines shut down. Stage separation confirmed. And there is stage separation and second engine start. You can see that second engine on your right screen glowing bright red. Now in about 20 seconds, we will have fairing deploy. And we should be able to see this on our screen as well. And on that left screen there, you can see the grid fins. It's, it's a bit dark on the East Coast right now, so hard to see, but we did see those grid fins deploy. Fairing separation confirmed. And there is fairing deploy. So as Lauren mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to catch one of the fairing halves on our recovery vessel, Miss Tree, but we will not be able to show this live, so check in with our social media for updates. All right, in about 10 seconds, you should see that, that entry burn start Stage on your left side. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. All right. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. And we just had a good shutdown of that entry burn. Meanwhile, the second stage continues at full power with over 200,000 pounds of thrust. Stage two following nominal trajectory. All right, looks like we lost signal, but that's fine. We should be acquiring it again soon. 
Now stage two continues to burn, taking those Starlink satellites to their first parking orbit. Stage one is coasting down, steering its way using those grid fins down to the drone ship. At about T plus eight minutes and three seconds, right around there, you're gonna see that landing burn start. Stage one entry transonic. Oh, and as you just heard, we've just gone transonic on stage one as it's making its way back down to the drone ship. So the atmosphere is actually what's slowing the vehicle down, stage one, as it re it's now re-entering the Earth's atmosphere and coming down to the thicker parts. That's what slows the vehicle down. Stage one, landing burn, start up. All right. You can see that light on the left. Stage, stage one, two is under way. terminal guidance. Stage one, landing like right. deploy. And yes, <laughs> we have another landing. This is the fourth landing of this vehicle in the 48th Falcon 9 first stage landing to date. It was awesome. <laughs> Tension rods released and payload deploy confirmed. All right, you just heard the call out. Let's wait till we get that video again. There we go. That's all 60 of those Starlink satellites on their merry way. It's a beautiful sight. Just to give you guys an update on the fairing. We didn't catch it this time. We got really close, but we're going to keep on trying again and give you more updates as that continues. And with that, that brings our web class to a close. Thanks for joining us for the first launch of 2020. And until next time, have a happy new year.